Hello, let's continue with factoring of trinomials. Here, the leading coefficient a is not equal to 1. Correct? Now, we'll go with sum and product as we discussed earlier with leading coefficient a equals to 1. The procedure is kind of similar. Okay? So, what are we trying to find? We are trying to find two numbers, p and q, so that p times q is equals to a times c and p plus q is equals to a plus p. So once we get those two numbers p and q, then we can split the center term bx, b with the value of p plus q, right? Then we'll have four terms. Then we can combine two and factor. So we'll do decomposition of px, right? And then combine the terms to factor and get the result. I'll show you the procedure, how to do it with these examples. Here we have 3x squared plus 7x plus 4. So what are we looking for? We are looking for two numbers whose product is 4 times 3, that is 12. Okay, so product of, so I should write p times q equals to 12 and their sum should be 7, that is p plus q equals to 7. So product of p times q equals to 12 and sum of 7. So what could be those two numbers? 12 and 7, well p and q Q could be 3 and 4. Yes, it works. So we will use 3 and 4, correct? 3 and 4. So when you multiply 3 and 4, you get 12 and when you add them, you get 7. So I'll decompose 7 with 3 plus 4. So I'll write this trinomial as 3x squared plus 3x plus 4x plus 4. Now we got four terms. Out of these, we'll combine two. So first two when you combine, you see 3x common. So I can write 3x and here we are left with x plus 1. Here, what is common? 4. If I factor out 4 from 4x four plus 4, I get x plus 1. The idea is to look for another common factor. And that one is x plus 1. So we can now factor out x plus 1. So if you factor out x plus 1, you are left with 3x from the first term and 4 from the second term. So that is the final answer. We have written the trinomial in the sum form as product of two terms, x plus 1 and 3x plus 4. That's the answer, correct? Let's get it to the next one. 5x squared minus 8x plus 3. So, what we need to do? Product of two numbers should be how much? 5 times 3, 15. And what should be their sum? That means p plus q equals to minus 8. So, you got a product which is positive and sum which is negative. That means product can be positive when both terms, numbers are of same sign. Correct? Well, in this case, because the sum is negative, the numbers are negative. So the two numbers which could work for us are 5 and 3, right? 5 and 3, both with negative sign. So if I have negative 5 times negative 3, I get plus 15. And if I add negative 5 and negative 3, I get minus 8. So we will follow the same process. 5x squared minus, this time decompose minus 8x with minus 5 and minus 3. Minus 5x minus 3x plus 3, right? This gives us the center term. We'll combine these two and factor out something common, which is 5x for us. So 5x, I've left with x minus 1. Here, minus 3. If I take minus outside, I have to change signs. Minus x becomes x and this plus becomes minus 1. Correct?
see you get the same factor x minus 1 let's factor that out and you're left with 5x from the first term and minus 3 from the second so that's how you factor your trinomial correct so follow the same procedure and do the rest continue with this so here what should be the product product should be 8 times 9 72 so what you're looking for p times q equals to 8 times 9 72 but with negative sign and p plus q should be how much plus 14 here because the product is negative that means the two numbers are of opposite sign and the sum is positive so bigger number is positive do you get it? bigger number has to be positive so look for two numbers whose product is minus 72 and their sum is 14 so try to do it yourself here is one more 3x square minus 7x minus 6 so here what product are you looking for product you are looking for is 3 times 6 18 with a negative sign and the sum should be negative 7 again sum is negative so here the two numbers which multiply to give you 18 the bigger number should be negative so the sign of the bigger number is always sign of the center term do you understand so try to get yourself next term 8x square minus 20x plus 20 sometimes you may have to factor the common terms well as you can see here I can factor out 2 correct let me factor 2 out to simplify the problem and let me just put it. so if I factor 2 from here I get 2 times 4x square minus 13x plus 10 so at least we have slightly smaller numbers to work with correct you're looking for now two numbers whose product should be 4 times 10 40 and sum should be minus 13 right so 40 and minus 13 8 times 5 makes the deal right 8 times 5 and if you add 8 and 5 you get 13 both 8 and 5 should be negative correct so adopt the same process as we did and try to get your answer here is a tricky one it looks tricky but well you observe x minus 1 x minus 1 and here is also x minus 1 so first step we can factor out x minus 1 so I get x minus 1 and then I'm using square brackets and writing the rest of the terms the first term is 2x square minus 3x and if I take x plus x minus 1 outside what am I left with just the number 1 so I write in plus 1 now that makes it very simple so you're looking for two numbers whose product is 2 and the sum is minus 3 so what are those two numbers they should be both negative since the product is positive and the sum is negative the two numbers of course is 2 times 1 minus 2 minus 1 so you decompose minus 3x as minus 2x and minus x follow the process we did earlier and get your answer okay here are some more questions to work so this tutorial sheet is full of problems and I hope by the end of this time when you finish this you'll be an expert on finding or factoring the trinomials okay we do have some binomial here 4x squared minus 9 you can use difference of squares method also here correct but if you need to apply trinomial formula you can do it here what should be the product of p and q okay p times q in this case should be 4 times 9 36 but with a negative sign and what should be p plus q well we don't have anything in the center p plus q is 0 correct so the two numbers which will satisfy our condition is plus and minus 6 
when you multiply plus 6 with minus 6, you get minus 36. And when you add them, you get 0. So, use those terms in between. Think it is 4x squared plus 0x minus 9. And decompose 0x with plus 6x minus 6x. You should get your answer. Okay? Try these out. If there is a difficulty, then write your comments and I'll be there to help you out. I hope you sail through perfectly. Great. Thanks.